Nigerian soldiers have been caught running away on camera for their dear lives after they were confronted by Ebony youths. According to reports, the men of the Nigerian military were attacking the youths in their homes during a sit at home order by Namdekano. In a reprisal attack, the youths in turn defended themselves with powerful juju to avoid being slaughtered. In a viral video that was seen on social media, the youths were seen chasing the soldiers away from their state under a heavy gunshot by the soldiers. The soldiers were also seen running away for their dear lives as the bullets or their gunshots were not penetrating the youths and the youths were chasing after them to actually uh, kill them as the case may be. That is the situation of things in the southeast as it is at the moment. The youths are getting tired of being wantonly killed by the Nigerian soldiers who already have a shoot at sight order from the presidency and this has not gone down well with a lot of the youths. In, but in this case, the Nigerian soldiers were seen running away for their dear lives. The question is, if the president is running away, sorry, if the uh, soldiers, I beg your pardon, are running away from youths in the states, what could be the situation of things or what could be, what could be pursuing them or what could be making them to run away? Is that not enough for them to give up on the shoot at sight order? Is that not enough for them to, um, you know, run away from the southeast? Because if care is not taken, it's going to get to a point where the soldiers will be scared to get to the southeast. If things are not carefully managed, it will get to a point where soldiers would no longer want to go to the southeast. Don't forget that policemen have been avoiding the southeast uh, in recent times because of the activities of the unknown gunmen. And in this case, it's going to involve soldiers and other uh, military personnel. In this case, it was recorded that soldiers were running away, running for their dear lives, as a boy youth refused to give up just after the soldiers, regardless of the type of guns they were carrying, because the bullets were not penetrating the youths. It tells you that the youths are already getting themselves prepared. They are fortifying themselves in case of any eventuality, in case of the breaking out of either a civil war or what have you. You cannot beat a child and ask him not to cry. The youths have gone back to uh, address themselves and gradually they are coming out in their numbers they are coming out in their numbers and don't forget the Nigerian army cannot cannot I repeat the Nigerian army no matter how in this present age or generation in this present time cannot defeat a whole state why because that would be tantamount to genocide and the international community would uh, not allow that because there will be consequences so kudos to the uh, ebony youth who actually rebuffed and repelled the attacks by the nigerian security nigerian security agents of course one would imagine that um, this is uh, probably emboldening the youths and everything. Of course, it has to embolden them. Why? Because the government is killing them secretly. There's a secret war going on in the Southeast. People have been killed daily. People have been abducted from their homes. People who have committed no crimes. People who know nothing. Innocent people, innocent youths have been picked up by security agents or by thugs who are probably sent from Abuja to arrest uh, members of the IPOP and Eastern Security Network. 
innocent youths are being picked up. Take, for instance, the case of the oil worker that was mistakenly, that was wrongly arrested, not even mistakenly, he was wrongly arrested and paraded as an unknown gunman. If his people had not risen uh, uh, an alarm, what would have happened? He probably would have gone for it. it that would be, have been a, a wrong address. He would have been killed or locked up in the station, in the, in the cell, for a crime he knows nothing about, an innocent person. That's just one out of how many that we have been able to record. What if he didn't have anybody to speak on his behalf? The same thing has happened to a lot of people who probably do not have people to speak out for them. So it tells you that the situation in the Southeast is really, really pathetic. The situation in the Southeast is really, really uh, precarious. And if care is not taken, it's going to be, there's going to be huge consequences. That is just the truth of the matter. If care is not taken, there's going to be huge consequences. How do we continue like this? How do we continue like this? It doesn't make sense. What has led us to this particular situation, this state that we are? So guys, it is what it is. Soldiers will continue to run away because the youths are emboldened. They are gathering their momentum. They are no longer accepting to be killed just as if they are chickens. They are no longer uh, are accepted to be allowed uh, to, to be slaughtered as if they are a lamb that was, you know, taken to the slaughterhouse to be killed. They are fighting for their lives. And of course, they just have to fight. They have to fight. Violence is not the way forward. Brute force is not what this particular situation needs. Oftentimes it has been said, but the presidency has refused to listen. But rather they are engaging in the use of force. For how long will this continue? They must go back to the drawing board. And until they go back to the drawing board, it is not going to be easy. There is going to be serious issues and challenges as the case may be. Well, guys, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as the case may be. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.